I've tried and tried to run. They say don't let the darkness in. Maybe it's always been there. In the weeks since I did a video going over all of the NFL alternate uniforms, the amount of alternate and throwback uniform combinations has almost tripled. Because of that strange irony, I feel the need to do an update video on a video that's only a week old. With that, today I'll be ranking all NFL throwback and alternate helmets and jerseys for the 2022 season. Before we get started, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe for more NFL news, history, and everything in between. Alright, let's get started. We'll be dividing up the uh, list into two rankings, one for throwback uniform combinations and the other for alternate uniforms. For throwback uniforms, we have the Cowboys, Giants, Patriots, and Falcons all rocking throwback uniforms for the upcoming season. To rank these four teams, let's start with the Falcons. They have possibly the worst looking throwback uniforms for the upcoming season. Their uniforms are incredibly busy already, and having the white pants, black jerseys, and a red helmet with black, gold, and white stripes is just too much in my opinion. I think a combination of the red helmet with an all black uniform would be a good combination and a more streamlined look, and hopefully these uniforms are not here to stay. For third place on the list, I'm giving it to the New York Giants. The Giants are bringing back their 1980s uniforms with the Giants scrawled across the helmet instead of the typical New York logo. I'm honestly a fan of this combination and I'm excited to see on the field. This is definitely one I hope they keep in their rotation for years to come. It's only this low because the last two on this throwback list are truly incredibly strong and I just had to give it to them. Number two on the list goes to the Dallas Cowboys throwback navy and white uniforms. We haven't seen this combination since Tony Romo was playing quarterback for the team. The look is incredibly clean and will be making an appearance on the high profile Thanksgiving Day game as it did from 2004 to 2012. I'm a huge fan of these uniforms and again hope that they keep this look and Thanksgiving tradition alive for years to come with a new helmet rule. For number one on the throwback list, you probably guessed it already. I've got to give it to the New England Patriots and their old Pat the Patriot uniforms. The red, white, and blue uniform with the white helmet is an incredible uniform to look at. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the field. As a Colts fan, I just have a built-in dislike of the Patriots, thanks Tom Brady, but even I have to admit these uniforms look amazing. I hope to see these uniforms as much as possible on the field this year. Imagine if they made these their permanent uniforms again. Hmm. With the throwback jerseys taken care of, let's take a look at the growing list of alternate uniforms. Black helmet and jersey combinations are in this year, with a majority of these helmets going for a stealth black look. Some nail the landing and others need a bit of work. For 8th place on this alternate list, I give it to the New Orleans Saints. These alternate helmets are just too busy and too big of a step away from their traditional gold helmets. If it didn't have the mini logo pattern down the middle as a stripe, I would have been a bigger fan. In 7th place, we have the Washington Commander's black alternate domes. The helmet to me is boring. It looks like something that a fake football team in some movie would wear. Adding a stripe or something to break up the gloss black paint would go a long way to improving this design. Taking the team away from Dan Snyder would also help as well. Number 6 on this competitive list goes to the Arizona Cardinals. The Cards have some of the most outdated uniforms in the NFL, and while I appreciate the effort to mix up the look, switching the helmet from white to black is just boring. I'll be interested to see what the uniform combination looks like, but for now, it's just a no for me. Number 6 on this list is the Philadelphia Eagles all black alternate helmets. I like the wings on the black. It's an incredibly clean and sleek look and really just looks fast. I hope they pair these uniforms with their all black jerseys for a complete midnight black look. These are only this high on the list due to intense competition from other teams. Now I may get a lot of flack for number 5 on this list, but I'm putting the New York Jets ahead of the Philadelphia Eagles. The green text on the black uniform helmet or on the black helmet really just pops out. 
they'll be pairing these helmets with their black and green uniforms. While the uniform may not age well over time, it's definitely a very in and now uniform look. For now, it's a great looking combination that really stands out from the crowd. For number 4 on this list, I've got to give it to the Chicago Bears. I'm ranking the, this high partly because that they're taking a risk by doing an all orange helmet, they didn't just do an all black helmet like everyone else. The Bears have never worn a helmet like this, but I think it's a fun, bold look to add to the rotation. They'll be pairing it with their orange jersey and white pants. While some are saying this uniform looks like a knockoff of the University of Illinois, but I personally like the combination. This is where the list really gets neck and neck. For number 3, I give it to the Houston Texans Battle Red uniforms and Battle Red helmet. The helmet paired with the red jerseys will be a bold departure from the navy blue helmets that the team currently has. I would love to see these paired with the all navy look, but we'll probably have to wait for that for future seasons as we're just getting the red and red this year. This is a very strong look and I hope the team manages to pull it off well in person as it looks inside of these promotional photos. For number 2 on the list, let's give it to the Panthers' stunning black and blue helmet. This is what I call stealth mode. From the blue stripes down the middle to the helmet going back to the logo black on black, you can't ask for a better combination. There's nothing I would change about this helmet other than wishing had been rolled out even sooner. I hope this becomes their primary helmet one day, I really do like it that much. It's a huge change from the silver, but goes well with the blue uniforms, the black uniforms, really just about everything. Great job Panthers, two thumbs up. Now if you watched the video from last week, you probably already know and have guessed what I'm going to say here for number one, but I of course have to give it to the Cincinnati Bengals with their white tiger uniforms as my favorite of 2022. This is the helmet fans have been asking for for years, and the Bengals delivered. This team has been teasing fans for many days by showing and asking on Twitter what combination they should wear with it, and I personally vote for all white, but I'll go, I'll really go with anything and uh, I'm happy to see it with really any of their uniforms that they have now because I like every single combination. With that we've covered all alternate uniforms and throwback uniforms so far. I say that because with my luck NFL teams will keep announcing new combinations. Although I think because of all the publicity is why that video from last week has been blowing up for my channel anyway. So in the comments below, tell me your favorite throwback uniforms or alternate uniforms and helmets, and tell me what uniforms you wish teams would bring back. Leave a comment and a like down below for future video ideas, and tell me what you want to see in terms of NFL content. For now, this has been Matt from the Archive of Everything, and I'll see you all real soon. Thanks for watching.